<laughs> ah. Welcome back to my channel. This is for Virgos. How y'all doing? All right, so we here and we about to um, do a reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And cross watching, please drop a like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button and you find yourself resonate with this video. Round of applause. Standing ovation. <laughs> Welcome home. How y'all doing, Virgo? Man, every time I try to start your video, it was something going on and stuff. All right, so I don't know what the fuck going on. Shit falling left and right, okay? And they all fall down, okay? They try to make me go to rehab, but I said, no, no, no. What could he do? All right, somebody could be going to rehab. Hi, welcome. All right, so this is the energy. Y'all got addiction, okay? Addicted, addiction. Now, this could be a mother, okay, or a miserable Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. All right, we got misery and miser and shit. <laughs> the fuck? All right, so help one recognize and confront the addictive behavior. So you might realize um, somebody's creating a pattern for you guys, uh, or there's a pattern happening, okay? There's a pattern. You're going to catch it. All right, we got water, okay? So this could be like um alcohol, okay? Somebody could be addicted to alcohol when I thought about water. It could be a Pisces and stuff, the opposite sign. We got shadow attri uh, attributes, compromise, integrity, and honesty allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. So yes, I feel like somebody, um they can't stop drinking. I feel like somebody likes to drink or they be acting like they're going to get help, but they don't want to get help. This is what they like letting y'all know. Because we got the misery and the minds of misery, love, company, and shit, okay? Uh, we ain't got no energy, but we're going to see who it might be. All right, so we got cancer for some of y'all, okay? Uh, very emotional, okay? <laughs> Rejection. And we got the king of Pentecost, Taurus, okay? Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. So the four of cups. So somebody don't want to get better because they feel like you're going to help their asses off with the four of cups and the king of Pentecost. So you, I feel like you could be rejecting a lot of people and shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> ah, we got here entrepreneurs or creative ability to um, turn anything into gold. License sharing your life riches, okay? And we got mother, light attribute, nurturing, patient, unconditional love, joy in giving birth, okay? All right, so somebody could be addicted to having babies or addicted to being pregnant because I know, I remember mean, I had a coworker, she was like, oh, I carry your baby, Nisha. I, I like carrying kids, okay? She was a Leo. <laughs> I like, what, girl? She said, y'all like being pregnant, okay? <laughs> I like, <laughs> but I also, it's a it's a uh, name for that disease, Munchausen disease. I'm also hearing like the hand that rocked the cradle. Somebody could be like literally doing shit to you or your kids to like drive you crazy. You see the little um, lab labyrinth, okay? Fucking maze, okay? Amazing grace. Yeah, I, I don't know. Somebody could also be mad at you guys because you're not following some type of tradition and stuff. And then we got hoarding money, emotions and stuff, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. We got here smothering and abandoning children and stealing guilt in your children for becoming independent. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so this could be a parent-child dynamic, okay? Somebody don't want to let go. Somebody don't want to lead a rooster. Somebody wants to hold on. All right, or somebody can't, you know what I hear, mama boy, okay, or daddy's little girl, either or, okay, somebody could be dealing with those type of issues. Now, we have the four, because that cancer energy is like empathy, I don't give a fuck, and the king of Pentecost, okay, throw it in the air. So, somebody could literally be throwing some shit in the air. <laughs> also, somebody's like sending you subliminals, okay, do you all listen to subliminals? Subliminals, Okay. <laughs> so, there's a message in the um, music or there's a message in the video or the gift somebody is sending you and stuff as well it's like non-verbal shit posting shit up there and we got here the empathy Pisces energy okay can you hear me so there's a Pisces coming towards you guys okay or yeah emo all right y'all can deal with somebody that's like you know they drunk and they feelings okay I get in my feelings. Sometimes I get in my feelings. Rod Wave is a Capricorn, okay? So they got the little Capricorn that be in their feelings and shit, okay? Let's see. Uh, but empathy, I feel like, too, you dreaming about somebody. Some of this could be in y'all dream, you know, waking up looking for somebody. Um, also, somebody could be calling your name or writing your name or something. We got here the four of ones unity, okay? 
You and I, T.Y., well, got to let them know. Aries want to unite with y'all, okay? Or there's a whole matter coming together. So y'all reuniting with y'all brothers or y'all sister and shit, okay? Uh, having fun. I'm here. Uh, what is it? A marathon walk, a marathon, okay? Amy Spring Ford and stuff, okay? Yeah, this is spring um, week where, yeah, the time went for it, okay? So time jumping. But this four ones, okay? So somebody could be coming home, okay? You missing somebody, okay? I do feel like something is like going on in your neighborhood. Mm. We got the king of ones leadership. So it's something about you taking a position or getting a position of power, somebody passing something on to you. We got Leo energy, be your benefits. So this could be a job position, a promotion coming through. We got the unexpected being the queen of swords, fairness. Okay. We got kings and queens on the bus. Uh, on the bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so somebody could be busting it. Okay. A ticket. Okay. One way ticket, a round ticket somewhere. But I'm getting to here, um, check your flights or check everything. Make sure your numbers and everything fair. There could be a Libra reaching out to y'all unexpected or a lawyer, okay? We got a venture and we got seven of swords treachery, all right? Look, first of all, I don't know what y'all did, but I feel like you did something wonderful, okay? Because the seven of swords and the page of ones and your advice is saying that you didn't tell somebody what you were doing. Therefore, you are going to get something that you won't. All right, but uh, they want y'all to be aware that there is a carnivorous flower, like feed me, Seymour, a fucking Aquarius or a fire sign. Um, it's like somebody can't get enough, okay? Somebody can't stop lying to y'all. Somebody's habitual when it comes to uh, either liking young people, like in fire signs or hiding a fire sign uh, or being a mama boy, bummer girl. Oh, you know, I'm a man, I'm a woman. Oh, I can stand up to their ass, but they lying, they can't. Okay, somebody like putting in somebody's hands or some shit like that. Uh, the, but the seven of swords with treachery and the page of one's venture. Okay. They want you guys like not to tell this person every single thing y'all doing. Like never let your left hand know what your right hand doing this week because somebody is just waiting to snitch on you, tell on you, or the authorities lie on your ass. Okay. Cause the seven of swords is a liar about a home situation or about something you're doing. Somebody could literally be calling your job lying to your job on you okay so just be careful um about that we got the eight of pentacles there you go at work practicing and stuff i'm hearing too somebody is changing the results i got this in aries and taurus reading i guess what four or five days ago where um somebody is not the daddy okay who's your daddy who's your daddy is he just like who yeah taurus pentacle okay and here you go good it came out like this nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles all right, so also some money could be in hell. Thought somebody like look point like somebody pointing the other way. Like the bank is taking your money. <laughs> somebody like point somewhere. Let's see what's what the towards pouring that. The devil, the uh yeah, the industry. Okay, a uh, Capricorn. A uh, Capricorn is a cutter here. Uh, uh animal abuser, or they are self uh, mutilating. Okay, or self destructing. Um, they want y'all to know this and stuff. Okay, it's pointing to the devil. That habit. This is this person habit or something, or this person likes to cause you guys to um, self destruct and stuff. Oh my goodness! This remind me of people that pinch little babies and stuff. Um, when you're not looking, I don't know why I'm getting like somebody pinching somebody baby or something, or doing little things to a baby and stuff. Um, that Munchausen disease and stuff, weird shit. Could be an animal too. Um, because the nail is clipped on the little uh kitty cat. Cats are independent, so uh, symbolically, I feel like somebody is like uh obsessed with breaking you guys independent. Somebody wants you guys to be needy or something like that, or need day asses and stuff. Okay, <clears throat> I need your love. Mm, that's disturbing though. So, the the tourist, the bank, or somebody like look at this. Um, uh, okay, so. Yeah, that, that shit look crazy and stuff. Somebody also could be lying. They like they could be blind or half blind. Some medical issues could be going on. Somebody might need to get animal insurance or lying about they taking care of the animal and the animal need to go to the doctor or some shit like that. I mean, yeah, but some dependency. Okay, somebody is hooked on something. Um, y'all could be breaking free from this as well. I feel like with empathy, y'all feel sad for this person or this person be pulling on y'all with this Pisces energy. Like, oh, help me, Virgo. Okay. Um, like what is that shit? A mermaid, okay. Before they kill a sl sl slayer, we got six of cups. Somebody don't want y'all to go back with a Scorpio, or a Scorpio could be coming towards you guys. Also, somebody probably don't want you guys to reunite with your kids or 
reunite with a childhood friend, somebody sweet to you guys that take care of you, that keep you. Okay, so a Scorpio could be kind of come back to you guys and reunite with y'all. But there's like somebody that don't want you guys to reconnect with a past hood of uh, person that was sweet to you guys or sweet on you. So there's a Scorpio that may do something nice for y'all. All right, so four ones and a star card. Okay, so I'm hearing if you guys do any type of interior design or if you guys um, do any type of fun shoot or you guys do anything when it comes to changing your living space around right now, right? Spring cleaning will be the time to do so. Like remove shit that you don't need, donate, get to big brothers, sisters. Okay, um, so you can bring in new energy. So your hopes are going to be renewed with the four ones and a star card. It could be a Aquarius and stuff. I don't know what's going on here. So somebody could be lying on y'all. Like I know y'all clout chasing or dropping name dropping because they want something. Okay. To know you could get them something as well. But we got here unity and hope. So you guys could be uniting with stars or there could be something going on in your community. All right. I don't know. I'm getting like stars coming together. Something star studded. We got here. <laughs> I seem to like to, to like you, baby. Look at this shit. First of all, these are y'all benefits. So you are clearly winning over this Leo and they do not like it and shit. Look at this motherfucker. Stingy motherfucker. The alligator hands, you know how to be everybody be at the table eating and the alligator like I can't reach in my pocket because yeah, this motherfucker is stingy. Okay. I don't know if y'all going out with a Leo this week and stuff. Um, but with the king of ones and the five of ones being y'all benefit in this week, and it has everything to do with entertainer. Um, I feel like if you up for like an Emmy Awards or something like this and you win something, oh, this person is like mad and shit. Uh, but we got rival, they said somebody okay, so can't be um <clears throat> say my name, say my name. If you ain't acting crazy, say baby, I love you. If you ain't playing games, I'm getting that and shit. Like somebody like say my name. <laughs> All right, now, um, well, anyways, the five of ones is petty shit, so they like don't stoop to this person level. You the king of ones, okay? This person is five of ones. You got a petty energy around you, and they want you guys to be this way, okay? So they can say, look, okay, like now. Nah. All right, so what was the unexpected justice, okay? Which was a uh, Libra energy coming through for you guys. So what's coming? All right, so paranormal shit activity, okay? So I'm here, witch hunt. Somebody's on a witch hunt for y'all or somebody like looking into y'all fit. So y'all got people curious and shit. Okay. I heard George, 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 watch out for that tree. <laughs> so there is a, um, that there yeah, be careful when you drive. And I feel like too, if somebody can't see and they in a car with you, that's kind of dangerous. So I don't know if somebody need to go see the eye doctor. Or they need to get some contact lens or they need to get some eye correction or cause this, this damn devil is blind and shit. Okay. And so is the cat and stuff. All right. So I'm hearing allergies, food allergies and stuff like that. Some of you guys may have. Be careful what you eat this week. If you're allergic to fish, peanuts, coconut oil. Uh, we got what else going on here? You might even discover that shit too. Oh, you know how they say anything you can do, I can do better. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'm getting like this type of energy where um, you do something good. Okay. You have a certain nationality and there's somebody else like, but I can do it better. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing the instrumental too, playing music and stuff with the double and the horn. All right. So there could be something about lyrics and stuff that you're writing songs and music that you're writing. There's sound. This could be children books too with the six of cup. Um, but you do really good job. You could be a great storyteller as well. What they call it. An uh, orientator. Also, an orchestra when I mean, they doing the music and stuff. But I feel like somebody like pissed off and stuff that you do something well and stuff. So they trying to figure out when is the next time you're about to get this uh money, okay? Because to me, I see the page of ones and venture on this card. I think of like capital from banks, capital from people, fundraising and stuff. So some of you guys could be raising a lot of money and shit. Yeah, but let's see what else going on. The advice here for y'all again. We got here the seven of pinnacle progress. 77. Wow. So I feel like you deserve this and stuff, or somebody is trying to slow y'all progress down as well. I'm hearing pheromones as well. When I see flowers, I think about a uh, perfume. Okay. Something that you made that smell good. All right. Are you smelling like a whole bag of snacks and shit? But I feel like too, somebody could be like trying to taint that and stuff. We got time. So someone by, well, somebody wants you to pay attention to the time on the clock or there's a need to pay attention to 7 a.m., 7 p.m. could be important as well. 
at the bank, okay? What time is it? It's six on there, okay? Half past six. We got the lovers at the bottom of ultimatum, okay? So you may be giving somebody an ultimatum and stuff, okay? Tell me what the hell I need to know. We got the two of pentacles flexibility, okay? So I feel like, too, if you're juggling two things and stuff, it's going to take time for you guys to get your schedule together. Get back on schedule. And we got the Ace of Wands energy, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so if somebody thinking somebody pregnant, what it takes about how many days before you know if you're pregnant, okay? We got that pregnancy coming through again. So if somebody could be like three months pregnant, it's the first trimester, or somebody waiting to see if somebody pregnant and stuff. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> the hell is going on here? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> you like you need to go get some birth control. Oh, that girl that was telling that story about the day after pill, and a girl accused her. Now, this could be a shenanigan. I don't know if the story real or not, but I remember running across that and stuff. She a great storyteller on Instagram. She pretty much was saying the girl told the told him that she had went in the store and stole the day after pill. And she said she'd be stealing them all the time. But that day she didn't steal the day after pill. She said she used that pill every day. It's like some type of crazy ass extravagant story of her getting pregnant every day or taking that pill every day to make sure she wasn't pregnant. So I don't know if somebody compulsively taking medication or doing something okay, uh, overdoing something to prevent uh, uh, even an accidental pregnancy like that, the uh, day after pill. I just got that shit in my head. We got the five of ones, the empress. Yeah, it's about a baby, a Leo, okay? Uh, maybe somebody doing wound work on y'all. Somebody is definitely trying to stop you guys from being this empress or being being put on a pedestal, okay? Five of ones, empress, the strength card. Uh -huh. What the hell is going on here? I feel like somebody mama in competition with y'all, they daddy. I don't even know why, though. What's up, daddy? Uh -huh. But you guys, you're not tripping and stuff. You're doing your own thing. You should be. I feel like to focus on your creativity, your projects and stuff. Focus on new things as well. Focus on your beauty and stuff. Focus on your vocal cords, towards energy, the empress coming through here uh, for you guys. Yeah, so need to focus on your money, your bank accounts. Look at your statements and stuff. Somebody could work at the bank in y'all business. We got. I got to figure this shit out, okay? So somebody can't get you, steal from you, okay? Get them, got them gone. Uh, I feel like somebody is trying to do that, and so they want y'all to be vigilant this week because this motherfucker sitting here like, I got to figure this out. What I got to do? <laughs> we got here. Yeah, I feel like, too, somebody trying to figure out what the hell? They trying to get somebody pregnant, okay? I'm getting, like, especially uh, Leo energy. Uh, and I'm getting Queen Charlotte type energy. You know how they say they need to have a royal baby for the family so they could keep passing on, okay? So somebody ain't had no kids and the time is ticking or somebody need to produce a baby with, uh, look at this shit, sweet results. Somebody definitely is up here trying to figure out how to get pregnant. All right, produce a child, okay, honey. Uh, Polluting the planet, so somebody spreading their seed and stuff. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They need to stop it. I right, being too aggressive and stuff. So somebody is coming on strong, hiding behind the mask and stuff. And we got here spying through divination. So somebody is watching you guys. <laughs> they could be trying to figure out if y'all trying to get pregnant too, Virgo, sleeping around, doing something. We got run, being aggressive, run, forest, run. What the fuck going on here? We got two cards of somebody chasing y'all. And we got focused on you. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I'm hearing like one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, you better lock your doors. I don't know why I'm hearing that shit, okay? Because you got to run, run. Look at this. So I feel like you guys are taking something slow or you slowing something down or you tell some, you could be setting up healthy boundaries or you need to. Mm, what's going on? Yeah, because we are untrustworthy. And we got wealthy, okay? And untrustworthy was in reverse and stuff with uh, wealthy and ambitious. So uh, I feel like somebody know you guys got a lot of money, I like building wealth, and I should not be trusted. So someone wants to come off like, uh, oh, you could trust me, Virgo, but I don't think you can trust this person and stuff. Or you shouldn't trust this situation. Dishonesty. A lot of lies here. Transportation. Somebody's lying about a whip too, okay? Or somebody is trying to steal your whip, okay? Gossip. Somebody could be saying that you stole your car, stole their car, or you the reason that something got impounded and shit, okay? Be careful of that. Where you parking in, parking tickets and stuff. It was a lot of accidents when I was driving around. I mean, total 
uh, totalities. You know how sometimes you say accident? These cars was total. I think I've seen an amount of five total accidents where the car was completely crushed. Uh, I only seen the uh, jaws of life one time and shit. So I don't know. Be careful with your car. I'm getting stubborn and nosy, sexual, stagnation, school. Damn. I heard beauty school drop out. Look at this. Uh, what is going on? So somebody at your school watching you. We got stagnation. Okay, so I'm getting somebody is taking a test for somebody to get into school. Somebody's cheating on a test. Or somebody cheated on a test. School, stagnation, sexual. Somebody also, uh, <laughs> oh, that's why that should be relevant. Because the girl was like, hey, I got something to tell you. My name was Kristen and stuff. He's like, oh, you was a Christian? She said, no, I'm so happy you like Christian and not Christina. Sex change is what I'm hearing, too. All right, what the fuck? Okay, stubborn and nosy. But all this is top secret. So y'all got somebody in your school looking at you or somebody looking at your credentials. You got somebody secretly trying to stagnate you, somebody secretly attracted to you, top secret. Uh, somebody can also be trying to figure out if y'all are like a transgender, if they can expose that gender and say you something else or lying about you completely. Now they talking about you need to ask for birth certificates to know what people born with because people can't be honest. We got here top secret stubborn, okay? And um, so somebody, the moment you think somebody is walking away and let go of something, they'll stop doing something, here they coming back. They coming back. And we got nosy. All top secret, though, shit. And nosy with the magnifying glasses. So it could be your mama or somebody mama. Be like, stop doing that shit. <laughs> we got a paranoid. Okay, paranoid. I heard some people got to have it. Okay, so somebody could be money hungry. Or somebody do anything for money. Okay, they'll sell their soul. Let's see what else is going on here. Um, thank you. I'm like, what the heck going on here? We got here abundance. Okay, so you guys are going to be abundant. Are you under the spell of abundance this week, Virgo? Goddess of abundance, um, divine. Let me thrive. Let fortune be mine. That is the empress. I don't give a fuck what's going on around you. Something is coming towards you and shit, okay? Because <laughs> you look like you got like uh, cockroaches around you. The five of ones to me, think about, I think about cockroaches, <laughs> crabs in a barrel and shit. <laughs> People that just want to see you like fighting and stuff, okay? We got strength, okay? Strength, stamina, and it's our endurance, stamina, I am power. And we got joy, okay? So be happy, okay? Don't worry. Be happy. As I do, so mode it be, let joy and light radiate for me. Okay, so I feel like you could be um, eating better. I do got the angel of di uh, dietrician. Oh, my God. You could be a dietrician. This, uh, but the angel of diet and nutrition. Pay attention to what you drink and what you eat. You already know what's good for you. Don't let nobody tell you what you should or should not eat. That's one of your message here. Okay, so cooking in the kitchen. You could be baking in the kitchen. Like, you could literally be cooking. Like, if you're a rapper or artist or something like that, a you like, you're in there writing song, writer, poet, okay? You're a musician. you like in the kitchen cooking. you like making music, okay? Making sounds and beats and shit and sounding right. <laughs> Some of y'all, y'all putting something together with a home. You could be like an architect. Uh, What is it? You laying out the blueprint of your house, how you want to build your home or something. I don't know if you got some secret doors and stuff. I'm getting like mazes and shit, okay? Back doors and shit. Um, you could be actually de decorating your patio or you may want to decorate your patio and add things to it, okay, that can bring in spiritual protection. I've been learning about all of the, uh, what is it, Reese? That protects your ass and shit. All right, so angel relaxation, so chill. <laughs> All right, so the angel is like, chill your third eye out. Maybe you want to take a break from fucking reading tarot or thinking or helping people. Let go of the desire. I'll come. You'll get what you want. So fuck it. Um, I'm hearing too. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> why Why do I see something so disturbing right now? All right, so the angel relaxation, okay? Water, shower, bathing, and stuff like that. But I'm also getting sperm, okay, and ejaculation and stuff. So the moment somebody start worrying, they can release or something. Also, again, like the moment somebody start worrying about having a kid, they have a baby, something that maybe want somebody that might want to have a baby, they they eager to have a child or something like that. 
Um, but it's something about releasing or relaxing that's going to help this come about for those who are wanting to conceive a child. So someone know uh, the reason why somebody is shooting blanks or maybe they not really getting like off is because they constantly in a state of arguments and anger and stuff. And how can you produce like that, reproduce like that? So somebody know what they're doing and stuff, especially if somebody like y'all. And you're wondering why it's something not going that way. Because somebody, it's like a family member or somebody, they're arguing with them and they come around you to transmit that energy and stuff. So chilling out, relaxing. We got the guy. Yeah, and you can't be a good artist if you upset or you cannot channel the message if you like disturbed and shit, okay? Uh, we got God of Arts. The artist within you is about to emerge, okay? So put that shit on the canvas or paint it out. <laughs> All right, martial art as well. Meditation could be important here. Um, you guys can literally be an artist and you get you put some of your best work out there this week as well. We got the angel of prayer too coming up for y'all. Ask the universe and your angels for help and guidance, whatever you need, okay? Or for the message. Some of y'all, the message is in the picture, all right? Or on the stained glass wall, okay? You may see something on the, the yeah, well, I was looking at the Mormon churches, the, the Mormons and stuff, the Boars. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. Okay, Maleficent was a more which they say is black people, but you know, the king betrayed her to for to get with the woman and stuff. Remember how he broke her wings? Oh, that could be a story too. Somebody did dirty to get something and stuff. Um, they could be afraid that their kids is cursed or their bloodline is cursed, because you know, she had cursed the daughter, right? Because of what he he took her rings and stuff like that. Mm. This shit has got something went somewhere else, but I feel like there's a message here for you guys that you may see and stuff, or you pray to get clarity, and you are. I'm hearing, too, one of y'all going to know something wrong with somebody, uh, their kids, or them physically, because I'm hearing, like, uh, measles, the monkey pox, uh, chicken pox. I don't know why I'm getting, like, somebody got scars on their face and skin or acne and shit. I'm looking at these little circles. Of course, they like, uh, I'm hearing hypnosis, too. Somebody could be hypnotized or somebody was trying to hypnotize you guys as well. Okay, so you cut something off or something needs to be cut off. All right, so God is of knowledge, okay? So somebody's not going to be able to live off your genius anymore. All right, so uh, start applying what you already know. Trust your intuition, okay? So don't, don't second guess it. Go with it. All right, yeah. <clears throat> I was reading the energy that was about to happen right in front of me and stuff. I was like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. <sighs> and it happened exactly how I read it and stuff. I said, wow, probably saved my life. <laughs> you never know. You might see something like that as well. What else y'all need to know, Virgo? All right, so yeah, if you go somewhere, I feel like it's going to be anonymous too. If you check it somewhere, you may want to keep something anonymous. Somebody could be trying to figure out where you're going to heal, to recover, to start a new life and stuff. You know how they, the paparazzi always watching motherfuckers to see where they at? All right, whenever you're going to them, like rehab centers and stuff, if they think you have an addiction and stuff. I'm getting in though. This, uh, we got here loss. Okay. Saturn and Pisces. This is not necessarily your loss with the, uh, Saturn and Pisces is more of somebody else lost. Somebody also is uh, worried about their past being brought up. Um, also, the bones, okay? There's DNA here and shit um, that somebody's worried about. You guys may be worried about somebody else lost, okay? Romantic loss or somebody worried about losing y'all. We got Venus and Taurus and stuff. All right, so Cupid Arrow is about to hit you guys. Also, you have built a wonderful relationship with your bank and stuff. So you can actually get help from your bank if you are struggling in here. For those who have built a relationship with your bank, and you're going to be able to recover some type of loss here. This Pisces new moon is going to help y'all. So I will encourage you guys that is needing financial assistance to look towards your institution, banking institution that you have built a relationship with. Because these cards will indicate that they will give you the assistance and the help that you need. All right, we got caution, Mercury, and Virgo, and Moon, and Leo, appreciation. And I feel like once you get it, don't tell nobody, okay? <laughs> I feel like something really wonderful is going to be done for you guys with caution and appreciation as well. Um, there could be simply, too, um, your voice and stuff. Or the way you're talking to somebody. There's, like, music here that y'all need to pay attention to. Or there's a song and the message in the music and stuff. All right, we got harmony. Okay, peace and harmony. Now with the Mercury and I feel like 
something about what you tell your doctor is imperative or some type of medical information that's not supposed to be released to somebody. Somebody could be playing like they're your mother, family, cousin, or whatever to get medical information about y'all, okay? I feel like this person is very charming, too. But we got the sun and Leo harmony and stuff. So there's some type of harmony. I just let y'all know because of that seven swords, it was that page of ones and stuff. Somebody could be bribing somebody, what they call that, lobbying a uh, politician, a statesman, or somebody that's in the position of power to get um, uh, imputed information off of you guys is what I'm saying too, okay? So be careful with it. Um, Say your personal information out loud as much as you can, especially if you got like people. Y'all have so many top secret people listen to y'all, you know. And they're like, Can I get your birthday? Can I get this? Can I get that? I just feel like it's people somewhere listening, trying to hear all the details so they can access something. So if you can say, Hey, can I write it down for you? Um, if you can press it on the buzz and stand to saying it out loud would be really good and stuff as well. All right, um, look at alternatives because I don't know why somebody wants your information and shit. The Messiah, okay. So, and you see this bitch? She's fried, dried, and blow dry. <laughs> I am shock. All right, so uh, serving humanity with humility, okay. Extravagated beliefs that you're the only means to which one can succeed. So someone is trying to cut off all your resources so you can only have to deal with them to get rich or something or to get the message and stuff. Wow, that's some crazy ass shit, okay? So there's something very important that you need to get, a, a message that you need to hear this week or a message that somebody need to hear as well. Mm. And we got the monk and the nun and stuff, okay? <laughs> so no monkey business around as well. So this is definitely somebody like trying to expose you as being like a freak of leak if you say you're not having sex and stuff. Oh, you say you celibate, but I see you out there getting your thing going. People be doing too much, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got here um, self-devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. So I feel like to you guys, there's a need to, um, you know, get in touch with yourself. Um, negative judgment and of the physical world, excessive pity. Okay, so yeah, I feel like yeah, you, you don't feel sad for somebody because I feel like it's somebody here that did it to themselves. You know how they say you did it to themselves. You got you had it coming. If you had seen it, <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> somebody had that shit coming. Okay, so this is like um, it's like these people that do um extravagant things. Was it ne nelophilia? Yeah, she was having sex with the corpse and got pregnant by the body. And she might have got away with having sex with them corpse if she didn't try to sue the man um, family uh, for getting her pregnant, saying he raped her. But he was uh, going to the morgue because he was dead. So she she ha she had it coming. She did to herself. How you going to sleep with a dead corpse or somebody supposed to be dying and he, he even got pregnant? You trying to sue his family and stuff. Stuff like that. Like somebody's a dumb criminal or something. Somebody, this could be a dumb doctor, a dumb, uh, a priest, a pastor, whoever this is. They had it coming. They're going to do it to themselves. They're going to expose themselves. You're like, wait, okay. you telling you telling on yourself. <laughs> uh, we got here, goddess, okay. So this is somebody that wants you guys to worship them, okay. Also, this is like a womanizer um, that can't help themselves. Exploitation of the natural female form as well exploitation of kids you know how they say um these photographers or these uh producers do certain things to the young ones and stuff or people that's fresh in the industry and don't know what's going on and stuff yeah so somebody could be trying to get a split of pictures of you this week and stuff i wouldn't be shocked if they were trying to do that all right so be careful who you send numbers to Somebody trying to locate you, track you, but it's saying that you guys are look really expressing yourself. All right, but you got you got wisdom here, so um, you're naturally beautiful. Okay, goddess. Somebody don't want you guys to be praised. Y'all are under spiritual attack. Someone is trying to attack your third eye spiritually and block your uh, block your ability to manifest. <laughs> and we turn to cinder. Okay, because they ugly. I, I feel like it's your eyes. They're beautiful. We got rainbow. So somebody, you drop this shit, okay? Like a bad habit. You'll have massive success after you drop, release somebody toxic from your life. This doesn't have to be your lover. For some of y'all, it's your mama, your child. It could be a cousin. 
It could be a best friend or somebody you was at school. It could be a class of people that you were a study group and stuff like that. You're like, fuck all you people and stuff. Like you drop a group of people and all of a sudden your energy lifts and stuff. The rain, the sun comes off. Yeah, I'm getting Pisces. Some of y'all are Pisces that y'all got rid of. All right, so somebody funky or something smells like fish or something is rotten, okay, to this core. Someone is making an offer to marine spirit to gain power against you. We got octopus. We got and we got some damn salmon. Okay, core cat. <laughs> did they say uh, what is it? Uh, theft, magic, and completion. So this week we did have that. Okay, so the confirmation is that somebody that been trying to steal from you, stealing something from you, it's over. It's done. That shows that too. All right, this is like the world card, but we got theft magic. Somebody has been trying to steal shit from y'all, love, money, energy, and stuff, but they saying that it's completing or it's complete because you are breaking something, okay? You're breaking against the energy. The energy work that has done against you is over. The spell has been broken. All right, toxic fixation, but this person is stuck on y'all. Someone is attracted to your light and seeking to dim it, okay? Ooh, yeah, they don't like that. So tie at the bottom. Y'all know who y'all so tied to? <laughs> do you, do you, do you know? Uh, Six of Pentacles, quality time. We got uh, Taurus want to spend quality time with y'all. Or somebody is always watching the clock. So this, this is somebody that do this work like clockwork. Uh, somebody is always working on y'all money, finances, and love. Okay, so, uh, appreciation. Quality time. So some, there's a Taurus that might spend quality time with y'all or Scorpio. The caregiver, okay. So I feel like like you somebody about to come into your life and help you guys, okay? They want to carry you guys, they want to take care of y'all. You should be like relaxing. And look at this shit. Competition again. That's the fifth time this Leo came up. There is a fire a fire sign that's an issue in y'all life. Uh they they making it hard for somebody to love y'all. All right, to be continued, cliffhanger, okay. Damn. All right, so I feel like too, too, somebody that left y'all hanging, blocked y'all, could be bringing their ass back and stuff, or somebody is trying to get somebody to leave y'all hanging or, uh, and block y'all as well. All right, so we got the Queen of Cups, that Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Again, like this person is in love with y'all. They want to help y'all out. We got two of Pentacles, final two, and we got the three of Cups, okay, here to make friends. We got Capricorn and Cancer. <laughs> All right, so somebody could be introducing y'all to their friends this week and stuff, um, or they wanted y'all to meet their friend. Also, someone like, oh, I'm just here to have friends, but they're a cop blocker because there's somebody that actually love y'all and truly want to be with y'all, and they know that. It could be a Libra or somebody else that want to be with y'all because the Libra came unexpected. The uh, Aries that could want to be with y'all with the four ones and stuff. Um, they could be close to home. And we got two of cups. Cheers. All right, so I see you guys having fun, making a partnership. I right, doing like hanging out. I feel like if you're not looking for somebody, you go somewhere, you meet somebody pretty cool. It's a cocktail party. Two of Cups is also making a deal, a partnership for y'all as well. Meet the family, okay? So this week, somebody may actually tell y'all, would you like to meet my parents, okay? Or you may meet somebody's parents. We got Sagittarius energy. Also, somebody made a deal, a handshake, and see uh, if they could come talk to y'all. And we got seven of one drama. So I feel like say that drama for your mama. All right. So <laughs> I feel like somebody get blocked before they can even give you a damn headache or that's the message and stuff. If somebody starts some shit with you, just block their asses until they get some act right if they never get none. But it's like the seven of ones are saying that uh, you protected from the drama, but somebody could be trying to bring it to you guys' doorstep. This could happen on Sunday or it happened this recent Sunday. I feel like it's happening though. Queen of Pentacles, the single mother, have a fun day. So some of you guys are going to be meeting a single father or mother this week as well. They may be, uh, the kids may be at the babysitter as soon as they like get time for you guys. They're like, come get your kids. So they won't be able to spend time with y'all or something. Like somebody's like rushing somebody back to the house or claiming to be sick or causing issue now that this person is out having fun with y'all and stuff or you meet somebody that's crazy and stuff. The amount somebody gonna go through to stop somebody or throw them off their game. All right, so the Queen of Pentacles. If y'all meet this person, they could be um into banking. I'm gonna look at y'all money. All right, so there's the earth sign here that y'all might also be into a on y'all, or they have financial issues and shit. Oh, 
All right, so for y'all finance, you got entertainment, helper, emotion, and change. This says that you guys actually, a dream job is about to be offered to you guys. We've seen that, but it could be you're focusing on your love life or your love life is in shambles or something, and it's making it hard for you guys to focus on work. There's change that's happening in the entertainment business, and there is somebody that's coming to help you guys um, make this change and stuff, okay? Because we got helper entertainers and stuff so you guys are going to be spotted this week if you are into the business where you put yourself out there um I, like i said a musician here i forgot who was that lady that sued them people and stuff because they wouldn't let her get into the school i didn't get discrimination like that but there could be something like access to something that somebody could be discriminating and not letting you get access to um when it comes to this okay in the building uh, put yourself out there, bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to a career in theater, dancing, music, any type of entertainment. It's a talent that you can turn into money. Think about doing it. Think outside the box. We got helper. Have fun with it. I right, avoid giving too much of yourself right now in Virgo while ne neglecting your own needs. Consider a career in customer service or any field that you take care of other people. Don't fear asking for help, accepting it. It will help give you a hand. There's change for the better coming for you guys when it comes to your money. I right, just because you don't see anything moving doesn't mean it's not happening. Something sometimes seeing a change, you must be the change. So you could be changing something about your job, money, and your career this week, or there could be a huge change. And you got emotions here. Your emotions are affecting your finances. You are paying too much attention to your love life, ignoring your career. You're earning money, earn money doing something that you love. Okay, a dream job may be offered to you. All right, something that you truly want may come in for you guys. So they like to look alive with eyes wide open, okay? <laughs> Please drop a like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button. Bye-bye, Virgo.